is October 16th. Time for another edition of Fresh Off the Pot. Uh, today I'm using my new Flip uh, little video camera. We're going to try a different route. Here's the, the green room bathroom. Very nice. I've got, even got lotion. Interesting. Uh, at the Toledo, Ohio Funny Bone Comedy Club and Fatfish Blue Restaurant. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to try this out. Shut the door. Hope that no one walks in on me. Lock the door. And I'll start off with Bill O'Reilly. Uh, this happened Thursday on The View. Uh, <laughs> what happened was Bill O'Reilly uh, went on The View and he said that Muslims were responsible for 9-11 and uh, there was a lot of controversy and outrage. And here's the thing. I, I'm not a fan of Bill O'Reilly. All right, I think Bill O'Reilly is a pompous narcissistic, bullying asshole. Like if him and Rush Limbaugh were lost in the woods near me, I wouldn't join the rescue party. Not a fan of Bill O'Reilly. But the man walked into a hostile environment, a conservative dude walking into a studio audience of liberal women, with the exception of Elizabeth Hasselbeck, and almost single-handedly destroyed The View. A show I'm not a big fan of. That is awesome. Dude, the guy made Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg walk off their own show. I've never seen something like that. The guy's powerful. You have to admit he's powerful. And I think we should use his power to try and destroy other shows. Like, why can't uh, next week Bill O'Reilly walk in on uh, Regis and Kelly and try and just make them leave their own show? Or maybe he could walk in on the uh, next taping of the Jersey Shore and try and make Snooki cry. Or better yet, he could go, and, uh, go on America's Got Talent, sing uh, the Star Spangled Banner, and make the judges walk off. God, we should, we should use Bill O'Reilly to single-handedly start weeding out bad programming. Universal Pictures announced that they are going to remove the controversial dialogue from Vince Vaughn's new movie, The Dilemma. All right, there's a bunch of outrage uh, where Anderson Cooper thought it was very inappropriate uh, to have the line of Vince Vaughn saying, ladies and gentlemen, electric cars are gay in the movie's trailer. And, right, and I'm not saying that line isn't uh, in poor taste. You know, I mean, obviously, if you refer to things you didn't like or thought were stupid or weak as, let's say, black or as Mexican, people will be outraged. So, using the same line of thinking, you shouldn't uh, use the word gay for those things. But here's what I have a problem with. I have a problem with the studio taking that line out of the movie. All right, that is insane. All right? I understand maybe you don't like it, you find it offensive. Here's what you do when you find something uh, offensive in a movie. You don't go to the fucking movie. You don't buy a fucking ticket. That voice is your displeasure. Okay, but censoring it? Not good. Not good. I mean, yeah, you know, people are racist. People are homophobic. People are bad. And it would be ridiculous not to be able to reflect those kind of characters. Again, I'm using the word characters in movies. All right? What is every movie just supposed to be some happy, you know, fantasy where everyone is completely politically correct and no one said anything bad? How fucking boring and lame would that be? All right? Sorry. I want to have shitty people in the movies I watch. All right, what's next? I mean, seriously, the Thought Police? That joke's called 1984. Let's be careful. Okay, finally, a new study came out in Switzerland today that I thought was interesting. Uh, it said that love uh, makes you ignorant of your partner. And here's how they found this. Uh, they studied a bunch of couples, and they found that couples who had been together for an average of 40 years knew less about each other's preferences than couples who had been together for one or two years. Yeah, of course. The people who've been together for a year or two are still trying to make each other happy. They're still trying to sleep with each other. They still want things from the other person. All right, that's not about love. That's just about, you know, self-interest. That's just about, you know, uh, self-serving agendas. You know, if you want to have sex with somebody, you're going to take more interest in what they're doing because it's going to make them happier and more likely to sleep with you. This isn't about love. People have been together 40 years, they probably hate each other. Right? Of course they don't know anything about each other. The only way they've been able to stay together for 40 years is by staying away from each other for probably like the last 30 years. All right? I can't handle riding in a car with someone for 10 hours. All right? They can't stand each other. Love. They hate each other. So it's study about hate. But I love you guys. And, uh, and I want to thank those of you who have watched this edition of Fresh Off the Pots from Toledo, Ohio. The Funny Bone. Uh, find out more about where I'm playing and where I'll be on www.dancummins.tv and uh, sign up on the YouTube subscription list to get more of these videos and other videos. I'm going to go to the bathroom.